so for sprint five we had to add the terrain um so what i've got right now is i have the uh, uh the wireframe working like this however once i try adding my y in um it just kind of freaks out and i don't understand why uh some of them go up while some of them aren't in like the wrong way so it should just be like uh, two squares that are down and two squares that are up but for some reason it's got like awkward squares going up and awkward ones going down uh, so I'm not really sure why that's working like that um, and I feel like I'm doing it right I've gone over this quite a few times so I'm very confused on what would be wrong so I'm making my vertex buffer here uh, with my my points and then making my triangles as like in squares so this triangle and this triangle and then I have my my index gets I'm saving the train model before I load it um, I know I got the right file name there. I've checked to make sure the file's in the right spot, but obviously that has to be working. Um, so I just I can't figure that out. Uh, so I'll probably be asking some questions in class as to why I can't figure that out. Other than that, I did some more work on my connect stuff. So right now it's connected to my engine. Um, so. I have a singleton connect uh, manager that in my permafrost engine I initialize the default sensor and then I call uh, its update when the game needs to, when the game updates. Uh, this allows me to just kind of get some information out of it. Uh, so I'm just like before checking it for like kind of like a wave thing. So if the hand is above the elbow. Um, and I'm printing uh, just some debug messages with that. I've kind of moved it down some more. So I've, instead of transferring the information onto um, like my screen points, I'm just leaving it in the connect space because that leaves, that dumbs down the math a little bit more. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to uh, make some gestures. Um, kind of this way so I can do like raising hand and things like that uh, so I need to create gestures for those that um, actually uh, something that the user can call to, to be checked um, is kind of the goal uh, as kind of like an input sort of uh, ideal so that's what I'm planning on going for um, to show that it works the way I say it does uh, so the game's running. I'm just using like uh, the camera on my computer that tracks. Uh, this is just part of the SDK. But when I raise my left arm, I'm getting information from my engine about that happening. So that works uh, well so far. I haven't had too many issues with that, except for changing some stuff around when moving it into the engine. Some other stuff. Uh, the DLLs weren't working other computers so I fixed that however ran into another issue where it the program crashes uh, even though the DLLs are there and I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out but I recently just today figured out that it's actually because the connect when you have to get the default connect sensor um, it checks it's not checking for a, a connect it's actually checking for the drivers. Um, so if the drivers are not installed, this will fail and kick you out of the program. Um, so then the application fails. So you have to have the uh, the connect runtime uh, like program installed, which by plugging in a connect, it would install automatically, or you can get them offline, which is what I did for my other computer which made it work on my other computer without the SDK, but you have to have that. So we need to figure out a way to rather get around that so that 
there's a way to just not run any of this unless the user wants to use connect or um, something like that I'll have to talk to you about uh, what would be a good way to go about that um, so for now if you were to try to run it it would still uh, it would still crash uh, not from DLLs though it would crash because of the uh, connect not finding the installation of it, its drivers so that's that other than that though that is what I've got for my sprint